So I'm gonna make a little log stove today to cook my food over. It's kind of a mix between a Swedish torch and a rocket stove. So you would make this kind of like you would a Swedish torch. I'm just gonna shave off the inside corners of each piece about three quarters of the way down, and then I'm gonna put them all together. Then I'm gonna chop a hole about two thirds of the way down the log. I'm gonna do that by chopping a triangle shape in these side by side pieces here. Put them together and you got the hole, nice and easy. So then I'm gonna chop the corners off of each piece at the top. So then it's gonna look like this. Now I'm gonna set the log into this little depression I dug into the dirt so it stays together. This log I'm using is green wood from a tree that just fell down. So it's not gonna burn very well. So I'm gonna rely mostly on the dry twigs that I'm feeding into it. So this log stove is a great option for if the wood you're working with is damp or green wood because it gets a good amount of airflow so that it burns better. And there's a lot of space so that you can feed dry twigs into it. And it will boil water very quickly. 